So remember last week when I took my Quartz City painting to the gallery? That was number two. Look what I got. No, I have still not washed off this file cabinet. So my pictures on the cover of the Arts Council. What do you call this? Newsletter? This is what happens when you join the Arts Council as a it's just like a supporting member. They send you articles and things, calls to art, stuff like that. This is where like a lot of the city run opportunity exists. And I'm on the cover because I won second place. Bitch! I don't actually know what that means <laughs> because I wasn't paying attention, but you know, it only costs $10 to enter, so it's paid for. That's nice. I like that. Because they're not doing a real um, gallery opening in person for obvious reasons, they are making a video, and that means I have to go in and be on video. And I'm not, mm, I don't know, <laughs> and I'm really, really bad at any kind of like what I'm doing right now. But, um, there's some really, like, nice stuff in here, and I feel bad. <laughs> like, I really like this one. The only thing I don't like about this is that they don't show their names. So I don't know whose these are. Like, look at that one. And this one. Every time I go into some kind of show, I always feel like I'm not... I don't deserve to be there. <laughs> I had a bit of this manila paper left under the bed, um, so I decided to make eco prints with it because I like using that for collage. So that's when you boil the leaves wrapped in the paper, but it doesn't seem to like work that well. Probably because you're supposed to boil it, and um, I only have like a bucket, <laughs> so. All I can do is pour a little boiling water and hope that something happens, but a lot of times nothing really happens. It's my least favorite time of every month where I have to go and switch the paintings out at the vet office. And I don't know why I hate doing it. I just, I feel I'm just a pest. <laughs> so I just, I don't know. I think it's ever since that first time that I started hanging art at like a cafe. The person who owned the cafe didn't really want me to be there and didn't really want to tell me so. If anyone thinks that I'm a pest in any way or annoying, they would never actually tell me in person. So I have to like... I'm gonna take this one in. I'm running low on domestic, <laughs> domestic pets, animal art to give them so I have to make sure that I paint more animals this month or something so that I can have more stuff to send in because if I send in like wild animals like crows and stuff I feel like it's not quite because it's a vet it's for pets and stuff look how cute I forgot how cute this looks in this sweet frame that I spray painted I need to use this more often because it looks really adorable it's not great because it doesn't have any separation between the painting and the glass you know, I haven't been making actual art much lately because of my desk. What the hell? It is Wednesday. I think I did this on Friday and it's still not dry. Can you believe that? <laughs> I'm terrified of this because they're not really attached. Like all those little tiny spots are the only thing that's holding the little flakes on. And so when you touch it, or if I paint on it, it's gonna flake off and stuff. So I'm like terrified of this project. I was hoping to make something somewhat representational. Because I know that this is often a thing that people do for like non-representational abstract art for obvious reasons. But what should I do with this Uline thing? Because <laughs> it's like a phone book. I don't think I would ever use it. Because it's so much easier to use a website, but it's new and I just got it. <laughs> so I'm like, what should I do? Is this gonna be another, what is this, 800 page 
sketchbook challenge? Is that what this is gonna be? Like, am I gonna have to like make this into something? I could, look how thin it is. I love thin papers because they're awful to work with, but you can make so much art and take up so little space and not waste so much paper because it's free and and it came to me and what if it would take me a million years to make this into an art journal or something wow it really is 800 pages huh this is why people like collecting sketchbooks because of the potential potential of things. <laughs>